so we have already done a function module so what we have already done this uh, function model what exactly happens here just give i'll give you a, a brief overview so what exactly we have done when we are doing the smart forms project is we have uh, uh, got a dynamically generated function module so whenever, whenever we are creating a, a smart form we'll be getting a dynamically generated function model which we are which we are copying it and we are using it in the uh, 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 we are clicking on the pattern and uh, keeping it here and pick and copying that uh, function model whatever we have that and we are we are getting it and we are saying okay then it will be executed here but this number is a dynamically generated number which might change or which might which might have a, a variation in the future okay so for that for consistency of this uh, uh, program code what we do is we call a additional function model called ssf underscore function module we we call a ssf underscore function module underscore name now what what we'll do is we'll call this and here we'll keep the form name okay and what's the form name that we have here this is the form name zdxc underscore mardi underscore sf is the form name so we'll have this here and then we will have we have to go ahead and create this form name fm underscore name for which we'll call it as fm underscore name only fm name fm name okay so this fm name has to be declared in the data but what should be the properties of this this the properties of this should be equal to the properties of this only then there will not be any issue otherwise it will go into dump so first let's find out the properties of this fm underscore name let's get into the function module say yes and in the export we have this rs38 underscore form name so we just copy it and we'll assign the same properties to that particular data declaration that we have. So we'll go ahead with fm name type that whatever we have copied the property. Okay. So rs38l. Now what we'll do is fm name. Now here instead of this, we will be we'll be calling this as call function and that fm name no inverted quotes guys no inverted quotes no full stop okay we just say call function fm name and remember so there are three steps that we are doing here one is we are declaring a form name fm name okay so we are declaring a variable of type rs38l underscore f name and then we are this fm name is something which we are passing it into the into the function module and uh, we are giving the form name here uh, form name here and after that what we're doing is we are instead of uh, giving that uh, dynamically generated function model we are replacing it with the the name that we have given here you can give any name it's up to you so the same name we are giving here at the call function and we are not putting the embedded codes guys remember that we're not putting in red codes guys. So, have this item, so. so we have this fm name type rs38 Um, in the for the values we are not getting here the output is coming in a different way but so in this we can see the output as usual how we have how we have got previously but the only thing is internally from the programmatically we have changed something here so we have introduced we have declared at the six, line number six we have uh, declared the f name and then we have called the ssf underscore function module name and in that we have given fm name and that fm name we are replacing it with the dynamically generated function module name this you are you are all supposed to do it in the program that we have already done the project which we have already done and then you know even for the assessment also we should be able to you know uh, do this it's a very small thing but uh, very important in the real-time projects.